Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Uh, we had somebody else who wrote in and said, we're having a tough time with the transition back to school. Different teacher, different rules. It is second oh, yeah. grade. Any ideas? So, again, it has to do with preparation. And this is really, really important because if you spend about the first couple of weeks really meeting with the teacher, talking to the teacher, setting expectations, understanding what the teacher's expectations are, learning about her process, her or his process, um, becoming, you know, um, a team right now, then the rest of the year will be easier. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, and if you keep waiting to see, then things might not work out. So I really, really recommend you set up a meeting with the teacher. Start by telling the teacher that you ha you're worried and that you know, your child has a hard time with transitions and give the teacher a list of things that might make it easier for your child. Yeah. Like, you know, can he, um, uh, can we know ahead of time what the day's schedule is going to be, what the agenda is, or can he sit next to these children because he knows them? That kind of, anything that's going to make it easier for the child, for your child, just share those with your teacher and stay in contact and maybe give the teacher, a, a, did they say what grade? Second grade. Second grade. So a lot of teachers, when the kids are that young, they will actually have a notebook that goes back and forth where they're writing notes, you're writing notes. I found that to be so valuable yeah. when we were working with kids. It was always like something you could look at and figure out what's going on in the classroom. Yeah. So yeah, just lots of communication right now I think will help. And um, the good thing with, you know, we start school here in the States, we start school around September and it's so close to the holidays, it's yeah. almost like the kids have a short period of adjusting and then they have some fun stuff. Yeah. So, you know, uh, hopefully your child, child has some good stuff to look forward to. Also, um, it helps a lot with anxiety and your child's transition if they are familiar with the other kids. Mm -hmm. So if you can set up either play dates or maybe have a welcome back to school party Something that like helps the other kids and your child get to know each other. Lots of games they can do to get to know each other. That really, really helps yeah. if you have friendly peers. And obviously it helps a lot if your child is prepared. So you want to make sure that you know the different things that are required and your child is capable of doing them, whether it's just classroom stuff or academic stuff. Yeah. We did a, a parent to parent like about two weeks ago about things you can do to help make the fall a success. Mm -hmm. yeah. And even though we're already started, some of them are still, like we talked about, anything that you can do to make it more fun for them. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's that you put something extra special in totally. their lunchbox, or that you make a plan for after you go to school today, we're going to go to the arcade. Yep. Whatever, like whatever the reward, you know, you did so good at school today, or, you know, now you're in second grade, so now you get to do this thing that you couldn't do when you were in yep. first grade. You know, whatever works with your kiddo, even, you know, I, I made a big push and everybody didn't love it, but I said, if you can afford it, I think it's really important that they get fun clothes that they picked out to wear to school. Yeah. Because that makes it more exciting. When you're putting on the new shoes that you picked out, For sure. you're more wa wanting to go, like, wear those someplace and play on the playground. So whatever it takes to make this, I, I know sometimes our kids are just like Debbie Downer, I don't want to go, I don't yeah. like her, there's yeah. no rules, I don't, whatever. But I'm sure you guys are creative. You can find a way yeah. to be like, okay, how can we make this more fun? You know, it's funny you say that, Shine, because there's a lot of studies that, like, very long time ago, I remember when I was, like, reading about things that increase social behavior for, for our kids. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of studies that show that if the child has an object that others are interested in, and they can take that to school, they're allowed to take it to school mm -hmm. and, and share and talk about it with their kid, with their friends, it's a, a very significant social draw of the other kids. So mm -hmm. maybe it's a new kind of pencil, or it's a, a very cool backpack, or it's just something that is, you know, obviously you have to stay within the 
rules of what is allowed to take to school. But as Shannon said, you know, like if new shoes, maybe it's the straps, maybe it's whatever it is. Yeah. But if they have something cool that they can share with other kids, that's always going to be motivating. And again, this is the you have to pay attention to the fact that the more the child knows about what's going to happen during the day, the less anxious they're going to yeah. be about it, right? So uh, just getting becoming familiar, knowing the routine, knowing the classrooms, knowing yeah. if they're going to be walking around or that kind of stuff, all very, very important things. Don't forget, you can watch Ask Dr. Doreen live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We hope to see you there.